Hey guys, Jameson Redding here with the Road Trip Angler, and I'm down in Lafayette, Louisiana at Pack and Paddle. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about the different price points of paddles. And does it really matter? Is there a difference between that low $50 to $100 price range and that $400 to $500 price range? So let's take a look at them and take a look at those differences. When it comes to making that paddle selection, a few things you really want to consider is if you're going to be in a paddle kayak, you're going to be using that paddle all the time. And even if you're in a pedal drive kayak, there may be times when it's too shallow to use that pedal drive or that mechanical thing could break and you may need that paddle. I also stand up and fish quite a bit. So having a paddle and having a good paddle is super important to me. But I wanna walk through the differences. And to start with, I don't have one of the lower price point paddles here. So we're gonna be moving into that 100 to $150 range with the Benning Branches Angler Classic. And the difference between that starting point and that is really the materials, the weight, and the efficiency. On a lower price point paddle in that $50 to $100 range, you're gonna have an aluminum frame and a plastic blade. That frame is gonna be very flexible and give a lot, and that plastic blade is also gonna do the same, and you're gonna lose a lot of efficiency, plus you're gonna be carrying a lot more weight around all day. And it may not seem like a big difference when we start talking ounces here, but when you move those ounces all day long, it starts to really add up quickly. And we'll start by taking a look at the Angler Classic at $159.95. All the paddles that we'll be taking a look at today are in the Benning Branches Angler line. Now that line kind of goes from that starting point all the way to the top tier. And you'll notice a few features that come standard in the line. One, they all have a drip ring, on top of that, some of them actually have this little notch cut out in the blade. And if you're wondering what that's for, it's to help you retrieve a hook that might be caught. You can run your line through the notch and run this down to a hook that might be hung on a branch or something and get that unhung. And the other thing that they have is a measuring tape. And I find that really handy, especially if you're a tournament angler and you're just trying to cull those fish. You don't want to have to pull that board all the way out every single time you catch a fish. The Angler Classic has a fiberglass shaft and a polymer fiberglass blade, which is going to be a lot more efficient than that aluminum shaft with a plastic blade. It's not going to flex as much, which means that you're going to transition that power through the paddle strip. Plus, it's going to be quite a bit lighter. The good thing about this is it's very durable. The fiberglass is gonna be very durable and this type of material in the blade is also gonna be very durable. So you can use this paddle to push yourself off of things as well, which is common when it comes to kayak fishing. You're standing and you're moving around. You can still use the paddle while standing. There's also differences in the type of ferrule system that you have and some of these paddles can even be adjustable in length. But this is pretty standard for what you're gonna get in that price range, a fiberglass shaft, with some type of polymer or fiberglass blade. It's also a great starting point, and this is where I would recommend that if you can't go any higher than this, at least try to get something in this price range, and you'll be a lot happier out on the water. And the Angler Classic comes in at that 35 and a half ounces, and it will vary depending on the paddle length. As we take a look at these paddles, you're gonna notice that they all come with a drip ring. Some of those really low price point paddles may not have that. And essentially what that does is as water comes off the blade and starts to come down the shaft, that will stop that water from coming all the way down the shaft and ending up in your lap. So it will help the water just stay off of you, making you a lot more comfortable. They also have a snap button ferrule system, which will allow you to adjust the paddle to a few different angles, which can help when you're paddling a wind, but also just maybe for a comfort standpoint, how your paddle stroke is. There are other options that will also allow you to adjust for the length in case you have multiple kayaks or you're moving from a high seat to a low seat, which a lot of kayaks offer. But this video is dedicated to talking about the differences from the lower price point all the way up to the highest price point and why you might want to choose one over another. And here's another tip as we look through these different weights and different materials. One of the things you'll notice is the different swing weights. And this is a tip that John from Paddle Paddle shared with me. And I think it's very important and a good way to compare paddles side by side. If you grab them in the middle and you start to rock that paddle back and forth, you're really going to feel the weight difference, especially when it comes to the weight of the blades. And as we move up in price point, you'll notice that that's going to get a lot easier. And that's what you're doing all day long when you're paddling is going back and forth and that weight is really going to add up. So keep that in mind as we move up the line and look at lighter materials that are also going to add a lot of efficiency to your paddle stroke. 
Moving up the line, I have the Angler Ace. Now the Angler Ace does transition into that carbon fiber shaft, which sheds a lot of weight right off the bat. It also has a carbon reinforced nylon blade, which is gonna have even less flex than what we looked at in the Classic. The weight savings here is about five and a half ounces and this paddle starts at around 30 ounces. So you really start to see that weight savings. And again, this is gonna be very rigid and a lot more efficient in the water. This is actually my go-to paddle when I'm doing things like river fishing and I'm pushing and bouncing off a lot of rocks in the shallows or when I'm doing a lot of stand-up fishing around oysters because this carbon reinforced blade is very durable. It's a great paddle and the price point goes up to about $224.95. So there's a little bit of a jump here between the one we were looking at at around 160 and this one coming in just under $225. Taking a step up the line once again, we have the Angler Pro. The Angler Pro comes in at $324.95, so it's $100 more than what we just looked at in the Ace. The big difference here is the solid fiberglass blades. These are gonna be very stiff, which gives you a lot of efficiency. Think about it like this. The more flex that you have in your paddle, the less efficient it's gonna be. So as we move up the line, all these materials are gonna add rigidity to the paddle, giving you more efficiency because that paddle doesn't flex when you take those strokes. So all the power is transferred to the water and it's gonna move that kayak further along. In addition to having a lot more efficiency, this paddle comes in at 28 and a half ounces as a starting point. Again, that's gonna vary depending on your length, but as you compare these paddles side by side, you'll see that we keep saving weight as we go up in price. This is a great paddle if you're paddling a lot of lakes and open water where you're not too worried about banging up the blade, even though this blade is super durable and I do beat mine up quite a bit. And you'll see this is the paddle that I have on the side of my boat most of the season in that copperhead color on the side of the NAR but it is a paddle I like more for open water and I will use the Ace when I know that my blade is gonna take a lot more beating on that rougher bottom rocks, around rocks and around oysters. Now for the Benning Branches Cadillac of fishing paddles, this is the Angler Pro Carbon. And that means it has that 100% carbon shaft like we saw in both the Ace and in the Pro, but now we also have a carbon blade. So you're gonna get that maximum amount of weight savings and the maximum stiffness here. This one comes in at only 25 and a half ounces versus where we started at 34 ounces. So it's almost 10 ounces of weight savings there. If you're doing a lot of paddling, and especially if you're in open water lakes and things like that, this is the lightest paddle that they have in their angler line. Now the angler line basically means that you have this tape measure on it and I feel like that is very useful and I also think about the durability of their paddles in the angler line because again we tend to use these as more of a tool than just if you're paddling in a recreational setting. I'm pushing off things, I'm pushing off rocks, I'm pushing off the bottom and sand and just I'm beating up my gear more than I would if I was just going out for a day of paddling. There are a lot of different brands on the market. I do use Benning Branches. They have been a partner of mine for a very long time, but make sure you try your paddle out. I always recommend to people when they get a kayak to get a paddle and try it out and see what fits them and what's comfortable in their hands. And that also goes when you're choosing the right length. To quickly recap the differences as we look at different price points and paddles, it's really gonna come down to those materials. The materials are gonna make the paddle lighter as we go up, and they're also gonna make the paddle more efficient. You're gonna transfer that power from your paddle stroke to the water and be able to cover the distance a lot quicker and easier. So I like to tell people to get what you can afford when it comes to a paddle. You really do get what you pay for, and a lot of these brands are all really good brands. So try them out, get out on the water, and go catch some fish. For more tips, be sure to subscribe to The Road Trip Angler, and thanks for watching. Road Trip Angler would like to thank our global partners for helping support the mission to get people outside and on the water.